This is Twit. Confirmation that uh, Dr. He, He Jiangkui, did in fact, China has confirmed, use CRISPR to gene edit babies. Those babies were born. And uh, he, China says he, uh, he forged ethical review papers, recruited eight couples to participate in his experiment, resulting in two pregnancies. One of the mothers gave birth to twins nicknamed Lulu and Nana. These are the first, as far as we know, humans born with their genes CRISPR edited. He had removed a, a gene that supposedly would give these children a better resistance to HIV uh, and other diseases, smallpox, I think. Um, but the problem with CRISPR gene editing is the side effects are unknown. And, yeah, and while people have done this in the lab to rats and other things, this is the first time we know of that's you. And this was a big story when we talked about this. It was unclear whether it had really happened, but now that we know it's really happened, I think this is a watershed moment. Yeah, you know, CRISPR is likely to be one of the most, the, one of the biggest breakthrough technologies of of this century. When we get to the end of the century and we look back, like it, it is likely to be, you know, one of the big ones. Um, moving too fast in this area is fraught with all kinds of, of risks and dangers that um, it just doesn't feel like we should be, you know, moving that quickly, right? There should be a lot more um, research. There should be a lot more things done in labs before, uh, you know, we put this in, in human beings. So that's the scary part. And that's why I think the scientific world is is really <clears throat> cringing and has been cringing about this. Um, and, and why they haven't supported, obviously, the, the work um, every nation, it. Every nation has, has laws against this. I mean, this yeah. is, everybody agrees, this is not the time to start doing this. Although, yes. once the genie's out of the bottle... Well, don't you think, not to be too, too cynical about it, but uh, part of it is, like, some of the articles that I've read, like, people are suggesting that, you know, this guy... <clears throat> kind of did this on his own, was going to promote himself. And so not to be overly cynical, but like if China was the first to make some sort of CRISPR breakthrough, um, I feel like that they would have gotten behind it and like look at how Chinese technology and medicine ha is. a. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if the problem here is that this guy was sort of a lone wolf that um, was uh, mm. trying to be a little too promotional because if he if he wasn't and there was real legitimate breakthroughs i don't feel like china would be throwing him under the bus like this yeah mm. I, i'm not sure you know he's things. disappeared from sight i think there's <laughs> two things here that um we, we aren't considering one is that the current research indicates that the use of the crispr technology is actually incredibly damaging to the genes themselves so not only are you using crispr to uh target specific genes but what's coming out is the evidence is that CRISPR is actually damaging entire gene structures. Right. So you may actually be causing more genetic defects than you're actually fixing. And so this is the reverse side of a, of a breakthrough. The, the reality starts to set in that there might yes. be some downsides. Um, the children so are that. not being identified by the Chinese government, but they said the Chinese government says we are going to monitor them because there yes. is some concern about their long-term health. Well, there's a great Remember when Dolly because... the sheep was the first cloned animal – these uh, clone mm. sheep died very quickly because it turned out not only were they cloning the sheep, they were cloning their biological clock. <laughs> yeah. So, so the senescence was actually cloned at the same time. Yeah. And I think it, yeah. I think the challenge here with the CRISPR stuff is they're actually attacking the germline. So what that means, if those children have genetic defects, they'll carry through into the children of those 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 babies. And so they replicate down through the years. And we don't want a situation perhaps where uh, uncontrolled use of CRISPR that is actually damaging to the germline then gets uh, fed into the gene pool. That That is theoretically the end of the world type scenario. Yeah. So science wants to be careful about this.